Coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Last year, Dwenger's dynamic duo of Audrey Rang and Elizabeth Maxson finished second at State. Later this week, the Saints will try to take it one step further and win a title down in Indy. While the doubles team shares the court, they also share in their struggle to keep playing the sport that they love. We literally have known each other since we were young. We've played tennis for years together. And like our families are close, so we have a very big support group coming down with us to help us through everything. While Elizabeth Maxson and Audrey Rang seem like the perfect pair on the tennis court, this talented tandem shares more than just tennis, as both are dealing with a debilitating injury. Whenever she's having a bad day, I'm having a bad day, we're there for each other just to pick each other up and move on. Two years ago, Rang was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis that affects her back and her hips. About the same time, Maxon was told she had bulging discs in her back. Both have persevered through the pain of rehab with the ultimate goal of winning a state championship. I think it helps because she knows like if one of us isn't feeling well or if one of us is sore, we both know how to like react and help the other person get through it. And we stretch together before and off, so we're constantly always together and like motivating each other to do what we can to help our game. It does prove to myself and my family too. Uh, my family was my biggest supporters and they always told me that I could do it. And so now that we're here, it's good. It can help people that might have back injuries or hip injuries in her case, like to show that don't give up and try to like do what the, do what the doctors tell you and work through it and strengthen yourself because you can do anything. I mean, you can go back into it for sure. Rang and Maxon take on the doubles team from South Bend St. Joseph's Friday at 10 a.m. The winner moving on to the state quarterfinals Friday afternoon.